Seriously, like what can't this thing do? I have cooked bacon in it, I have made burgers in here, but this one guys, this took me by surprise. Air frying steak just might be my new favorite way of cooking it. Cleanup is a breeze, it's so quick to do, and it comes out perfectly cooked every single time. But there are a few specific steps that you'll wanna make sure and follow that I'm gonna go over here with you today. The first thing you'll wanna do is start preparing your steak. And as you'll see, the method that we're using can apply to any cut of meat that you wish. From filet mignon to ribeye steaks, they'll all turn out great. As you always do when cooking steak, you wanna bring the meat to room temperature. It's best if you let the steak sit for at least 30 minutes or up to an hour before cooking it. While that's resting, preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees. This step is also extremely important since we want to add our room temperature steak to a very hot air fryer in order to get that crusty edge. Once the steak has reached the correct temperature, dab off any excess moisture with a paper towel. This liquid layer will prevent a crispy crust from forming while cooking. Next, we're going to liberally salt and pepper all sides of the steak. I like to use coarse ground salt and black pepper for texture, but you can always use whatever you have on hand. And when I say liberal, I mean liberally coated. You want every inch of that steak to be coated in this salt and pepper. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even add on a little dash of garlic powder. I like to top my steaks with a delicious garlic herb butter at the end, so I avoid the garlic powder. But you can always add it on if you wish. Once the steaks are prepared, place them in a single layer in the air fryer, paying close attention so none of the edges touch. Cook the steaks for approximately 10 minutes per every inch of thickness. These ribeyes were about one inch, so I'll cook them for 10 minutes. The fillets were a little over an inch and a half, so I'll start to check them after about 15. Flip the steaks over halfway through cooking. During the last few minutes of cooking, begin checking the internal temperature with a meat thermometer. For rare, you'll want 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Medium rare is 130 to 135. Medium is 135 to 145. And medium well is 145 to 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the steaks as soon as they reach the correct temperature so they do not continue cooking in the air fryer. Serve them immediately with a garlic herb butter or other fun toppings such as sauteed mushrooms or caramelized onions. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, that is good with that crispy and crusty exterior, that juicy, perfectly cooked interior. Guys, I don't know any other way that's as quick and easy to cook steak than in your air fryer, but I cannot wait to hear what you think, so be sure to let me know. Also, if you want a few more dishes to cook up in your air fryer, then you've got to check out these recipes right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.